this was supposed to be live streamed, and so I'm probably going to edit this, because I just wanted to, like, kind of warm up talking before I end up uh, recording more with my friends. We've been playing a lot of Grounded and stuff recently. I'm not sure if I'll make a video out of that or not, but I've been wanting to make this game into, like, an update-style thing for me. So when I'm playing this, I want it to be talking about or for, like, warming up. You know, so going forward, when I start to stream again, I'll probably be doing a little bit of this at the beginning of almost every stream, especially like the first stream in a while. So when I do stream again, I'll be playing this. Um, it's just, I didn't want to play this game on my own time because I will lose myself to this entirely i can see myself just disappearing into this game for weeks and that's kind of where i've been actually is disappearing into random games specifically a bunch of idle games it's a bad habit for me what was that sound um it's a really bad habit for me because i have adhd so i get my uh, dopamine levels are a little bit weird because that's what ADHD is, is it is a theorized to be at least a chemical imbalance where your brain doesn't make enough dopamine or doesn't receive it as easily, which is why um, I have a pro little bit of a problem with caffeine as well. Because caffeine gives you dopamine. That's part of the fun of it. Part of what's addicting about energy drinks. And I don't like drinking a ton of energy drinks because I know that it's bad for me, but I just... It helps me do anything. Because up until recently, I was unmedicated for my ADHD. Like, it's legitimately been super recently. I just upped my dose because I got used to the pre previous one. And I don't necessarily... Oh, that sound was the stars. Got it. I don't want to get, like, too dependent on them. So I am going to be, you know, trying to see what I can do in terms of other types of therapy as well to kind of mediate the benefits that I get gain from it, you know? Train myself a little bit more. So that way I can wean myself off. At the moment I'm on... It's a stimulant. At the moment. I don't want to necessarily be on stimulants forever. So I will be trying to try and change that at some point. But that's all besides the point. Um... Idle games, that's where I was. Specifically, when I say idle games, I mean like... I, NGU idle has been a big one for me recently. It's strangely addicting. I don't... I can't even tell you why it is. It's just very addicting. It's running right now. Um... But ever since I started playing that one, it's kind of ruined a bunch of the other idle games for me in a weird way where I can't play a lot of the more traditional style ones because I like the style of this one more because it has like it's kind of feels like four game modes in a trench coat four games disguised as one there's a removals van outside my night nightmare neighbor's place they're finally going whoever moves in there is going to need a quality pressure washer oh so that's saying I unlocked a new mission for a while, I was thinking about making this series, like, not satisfying, so, like, ditching it, like, right now to go towards the next map to see how many maps I could end up playing <laughs> without finishing any of them. But I think I'm just gonna do it the right way and actually finish stuff. Except for maybe some of the bigger buildings, I guess. 
vehicles, though, can always be finished at once, because there's no reason to leave a vehicle. They're small. Um... I do want to be honest. So you'll see it says 112 here, but we only gained about $37. That's because I did one of the specials before in Midgar. I did the, I think just the bikes. Yeah, I did the bikes. The Hardy Daytona and Shinra Hauler. So that's where that other $75 came from. I've been trying... I've been really wanting to play this game for a while, so I just haven't... I've been holding myself back. I did do at one point... I reset it so that that way it's here again. I did do some of this level for fun, just to test stuff, see how it was, you know? So I've been trying to hold back, though. Oh, these are bound by stars. That's kind of lame. Nozzles. There's the narrow, the yellow. I'm going to probably mostly use the yellow, like most... From what I've seen, most people did. Or at least Markiplier did. I really do need to stop playing those idle games because they are chemically addicting to me <laughs> is how it feels like they're fun i like them because it does itch that little part of my brain that needs dopamine you gonna go with that business name or do you need me to think some up i'm phenomenal i thought of grouting thomas for that tyler and she's never looked back on reflection bonnie tyler might have been a better fit I almost didn't notice he was still messaging. The other one, main one that I've been playing a ton of is Leaf Blower Revolution. And I have a channel I want to blame for that one. And that is Dragoon. YouTube decided to recommend this channel called Dragoon to me. And he plays a lot of idle games, or at least those are the ones of his that I watch, because that's what YouTube recommended me. He also plays things like Bloons, TD6, um, a bunch of videos on Cookie Clicker, which I do like, you know, I feel like Cookie Clicker is one of the classics in the idle community. So it's like, if you haven't played it, then what are you doing? It's Cookie Clicker. Probably missed this mirror, didn't I? Yeah. Yep. Is this the extraordinary Dr. Power Wash? I got you your details from your friend Harper. I could really do with a hand at my place when you're free. Okay. Oh, I'm in the picture now. That's cool. <laughs> Just see me crouching around. Nice. The wind is a bit off-putting. Hey, Doc, I hope you like a challenge, because I'm pretty sure I've got the dirtiest backyard you've ever seen. That's not me bragging, by the way. I had nothing to do with it. I've just moved back to town for a, for a bit to help my t my folks, who are both down to their last knee and rented what I thought was a great little place. I should have questioned why there weren't any garden picks in the ad. They must have bred ry rhinos here or something. I almost said rhinoceros here. Anyway, my girls are itching to get out there, and I don't want them all itching when they get back inside, so please do your thing. Thanks a lot, Cal. Um. Funnily enough, your first girlfriend, Florian Perez, used to live here. Back in the day, those were the good times. Wow, I cannot read today. Um. Yeah, I... I guess I, I was mainly mentioning the idle game stuff to be just honest that I haven't actually been fully working on videos that I need to be because personally the the main time I ever think about how much I want and I like creating videos is when I'm at work whenever I'm at work I feel the constant need to like go home and be busy but I don't I hate when it does that I don't really have like, the best at-home work ethic, I guess. Because when I'm at home, I feel... That's when I generally feel the need to just kind of relax, especially after working. <laughs> just sit down and just breathe. Like, let... Just relax after a busy day of work. And so... My days off, I'm usually still kind of recovering from that. 
because I work early at times. So it's like I wake up earlier on my days of work than I do on my days off. Which I know the easy fix to that would be just waking up at the same time every day, but it's too early for me to warrant getting up that early, you know, so I know that's why I feel the way that I feel on my days off a lot. It's just that I'm tired because my circadian rhythm's all screwed up because it wants to wake up at my work time at times and my I just can't do that. It's super unreasonable because I like to wake up at about 8 a.m., 9 a.m. And I have to wake up earlier, like significantly earlier than that to get to work. So I tend to like not feel super up to anything. And also, if I haven't recorded or streamed in a while, it's harder for me to make myself record or stream. Sorry, I, was, I wanted to scoop my chair over, but I, I need to be very careful that I don't run over my cat. Yeah, so... To continue what I was saying for the pause, it's not like I don't have plans. You know, I have a bunch of plans for a ton of stuff. Current videos that are up, I have some plans. Not re-editing them anymore. That was a weird moment in time, but the remastered project at the moment, I have kind of just canceled. Because it just doesn't really need it. The only videos I can maybe see benefiting from being remastered are um, my Assassin's Creed Valhalla videos, but at this point, that's also two games ago. So, it's kind of a waste of time to edit that unless people really want to see that. I do plan on finishing that at some point, as with most of the games that I've played. Because I don't like leaving things unfinished, so at some point I do want to try to get back into streaming that. I, I do want to just get myself to the point where I am almost consistently streaming, like if I have the time, even if I'm not feeling like 100%, because to be honest, I never fully feel like I'm at 100%. Even during some of my better recording sessions and stuff, be before I start recording, I can't gauge where I'm at. Which is a really strange phenomenon. I can't explain entirely why, because I don't know. But I... It might be partially ADHD, that's just like... I think I'm tired and I'm not feeling well when I'm really just not stimulated enough. Because my brain decides that it doesn't... It would rather sleep than be bored, basically. Which is also just complicated by my chronic headaches, because I do have chronic headaches. I have know I've said a lot in the past about headaches. Oh god, he's purring. I'm not sure if you can even hear that. Completely lost the plot, or what I was saying. Um, needing a plan, I think? Or having a plan? Yeah. Okay, so... Hopefully, I'm continuing off where I was from before. Um, I have a bunch of stuff planned for... When I said earlier exist that I have plans for existing videos, I mean, like, thumbnails and stuff. I have... I want to switch... change up some of the old thumbnails for a couple different reasons. Um... In fact, I can give you guys a peek at that, at some of the plans at least. Because I have some private cello boards, or tre not cello, <laughs> Trello boards made that I am keeping track of stuff in. 
I might switch off of Trello, to be honest. I'm not entirely certain, because I don't like a few aspects of it. In specific, I don't like that I can't have multiple rows. Is that the whole edging done? It was. Okay. Um, because to be, I know exactly why Trello is the way that it is. It is a specific t type of board. And it serves a purpose in a lot of business situations. But I don't think it is my preferred way of keeping track of information with one row. So I tend to use a lot of spreadsheets to keep track of stuff as well. Which, again, I also have problems with. I don't like that the rows, like the columns and widths, or rows and columns always need to have these, like, uniform shapes and sizes. And I don't like that. Because sometimes I want the columns in one row to be longer by default, which I can only do by merging cells, which screws things up a lot. Like, it, it messes up a lot of the... anything if I want to do any kind of inserting, copying, pasting... It's like, oh, I can't do that with merged cells. So, in fact, it's annoying. So I can't just use that. So I tried to use Cello, which has Trello. Because it also has some other features that are kind of nice, I guess. But there's just a lot that I, it's lacking. But I can tell you for a fact that, like, Dying Light 2. I don't even have these the my notes wrote, written down in there. I wrote those down on a notebook when I was at work. So I can't even say. But I planned on doing changes to Dying Light, my Dying Light 2 video, which, if I remember correctly, I need to figure out what I want to change that to because the current thumbnail does not work it the current photo is I think this is me going off memory because I'm playing I'm telling myself to stop messing with stuff off screen um it is the main character groping at or frisking a beehive <laughs> and with the text dying light to somehow still human which i like the pun i do really like the play on words what's up do you do bikes i could do with someone running this thing over my deadbeat dirt bike oh another vehicle okay we're gonna finish this fence and then do that vehicle i guess or i could just do this for a while no i'm gonna keep on just doing this um dying light 2 so somehow still human i like the play on words there because that was inspired by the way that I was playing it, which was poorly. <laughs> and by making a bunch of stupid decisions that somehow still worked out. But I do like that video, and if you like Dying Light, if you could like, check that out to s and like let me know what you think of it, I'd really appreciate it, because I put a lot of work into that video, actually. That took me a good week or two of solid editing to make the way that I did. So I would really appreciate any feedback you have on that. If, like if there's anything you like about it that you want me to see more of. In fact, from, from any of my videos, if there's not something you want to see more of, don't, please don't hesitate to like let me know what you think I should be doing more of, because all I know is what I can see and I sometimes miss pieces of the bigger picture while I'm doing what I'm currently doing. So like, I'm trying to slow my videos back down now because I wanted to explore for a while because I realized my videos were too slow. So I was doing a thing where I was making myself edit as fast as I can, cut out as much as I could. And I don't think it made the best videos, but neither did editing too slow, in my mind, at least. So 
if you feel like your videos are too slow, I highly recommend going into the next project. Even You can even make it a throwaway project. It doesn't have to be like your next big goal. If you want to push off your next big idea that you have to do like a temporary quick trial or just try a few videos where you are making you're trying to go the exact opposite end of the spectrum because what I do, did and am doing is I started off going slow because I was watching a ton of slower let's plays when I first started sorry something was blocking my mouse so that's what I did I was editing based off of the videos that I was watching and the fair, to be fair, that's also what happened with the faster speed. I switched channels. I stopped watching a lot of the ones I used to just because I was kind of outgrowing it. And I started watching channels like Call Me Kevin, um, a little bit of Let's Game It Out. He's cool. I like his videos. So I still watch him, Kevin, uh, RT Game. I feel is also a faster paced channel. Markiplier is surprisingly fast paced. Like I don't, I didn't think about it for a while that because I thought his videos were less edited because they do a lot of subtle cuts that I didn't really know or notice. So I, it's, it's really impressive how much he does in that in terms of like edits that you just don't notice I'm probably gonna have to cut in a second and record this after a while ago ah that was a bright flash I'm going to see if I can find what I've missed on this wall it's all the undersides of the rocks because I'm just gonna finish up this wall before I cut but yeah, I highly, but to finish up my point that I was making, if you aren't happy with your current style, dive into the deep end of what other, whatever the opposite of your current style is. And I mean that very literally. Go as fast as you possibly can if you feel like you're too slow. If you're too slow, go slower. Or if you're too fast, just legitimately edit less to show yourself what it would be like most people won't have that problem of editing too fast because I'm at least in my journey I started off too slow and even when I started going to like trying to go faster I still was going too slow like my original Sims 4 videos were not as fast as I thought they were <laughs> when I was making them so when I re-edited them again, I cut out a lot more stuff. And when I had originally made those, I thought that I was cutting out as much as I possibly could. Is this whole rock pond wall one thing? Yeah, this is huge. But I highly recommend basically just doing the opposite. Pushing yourself into an uncomfortable area. Because then you'll learn way more there than you ever would have in by inching forward you know dive into the deep end unless you don't know how to swim if, if don't apply these rules to swimming if you dive into the deep end um that's a bad idea baby steps for swimming i can't really swim very well not formally i float though so, um that's a side point basically just that's what my discovery is is now i'm trying to slow back down because I think that's the healthiest second option. Is once you feel like you've gotten to the point where you can do fast okay. See where you can slow down at. Start to rein it back a bit, you know. Because in reality, it's not about just cutting out dead air. Dead air, in certain circumstances, can be good, actually. Especially if, like, an emotional moment happens. That's a good, occasionally a good time to just let it breathe. So there are even bits where in my Lethal Company video, I think it was the first one, where I had made a bad joke, like a, just a, 
a joke that wasn't necessarily the funniest joke, and I left some silence after it because I thought it was funnier with just the silence before my friend's reaction. And I fully believe that that silence made it better. <laughs> and I probably would have cut that out before, but now I'm like, no, you know what? I'm going to let certain things breathe because it's way funnier letting jokes breathe every now and then. But I, I do like doing YouTube. It's not like one of those things that I feel forced to do because I'm not being forced to do it. I know if I have stopped posting in the past and nobody noticed. And if I were to do it again, nobody would notice. But I, because I, I love doing it still, which isn't apparent by how much I post. That's just, I don't have everything under control, <laughs> to be frank. I get distracted easily, because I mean, look how long this is going for. I already said I would have to stop soon, but I just... I want to do more videos. I hate that I don't post much, but I keep getting super distracted with stuff because I get really stressed and when I do get into editing super and like making videos and everything, then something usually pops up preventing me from doing as much as I would like to do because I've been having a lot of dental issues recently. And I'm it's not over yet. I still have more dental issues that I'm handling right now. And it's a shame, it's because I, like, I was getting really into it, and then suddenly broken tooth. And I got that dealt with, and then I broke another tooth. And I'm currently waiting on my next procedure for my broken tooth. So I still have one, right now. And that's what really killed my momentum, was the broken tooth. And the stress from having to deal with all this dental work. And I, I don't want to go generally into too much detail on everything because, you know, that it's a personal journey for that. But I don't have, like, the best way to cope with stress. And I'm really glad that I don't have any, like, addictions or anything because I would... Besides caffeine, because I feel like caffeine is one of the less harmful addictions. I'm not going to say it's a harmless addiction, because it's not. There's no addiction that's harmless. But I know that there are worse addictions to have, because at, I don't feel like going and getting like an alcoholic drink when I'm stressed. But I will feel the need to go and buy like a monster or something, which I know isn't good for me. But that's, that's my thought. I start getting stressed, and like, dang, you know, I'm buying a monster. Whatever, I don't care. I'm getting an energy drink. So I know that there are worse addictions to have, and I'm thankful for that. But that's not helping with my dental issues. So, but, yeah, I'm going to cut this now. Otherwise, I'll be here all day. Okay, I'm not going to go back into the... If I missed anything, I don't think I missed anything when I was talking about the whole bit of changing up your editing styles because I think I did a decent job covering that and it's probably not gonna be the last time I talk about that anyway um but go oh, back to my original original topic of oh right also I noticed I missed this fence post yeah Basically, I want to get to the point where I am regularly live streaming stuff for Let's Plays because I am so sick of never finishing anything or not never finishing anything, but like being so far behind on games because there's so many games that like people ask me in real life. Oh, have you played this? I'm like, I own it. I haven't played it yet, though, and it's getting so annoying having to constantly say that. I just want to finish something, you know? I, I want to get these things done. 
catch up on games because I do like so many games that I've played and started playing in the past that I just haven't finished yet. And it's partially because I feel like bound to finishing some of these projects that I've been doing, like Sonic Adventure, for instance, is one of those games that I started playing one day because I had just kind of felt like it, I guess. There was no real reason for why I started playing it. I just started playing it. I wanted to stream it. Uh, specifically, I think the first time I played it was during the first or second Banksmiss. That stream is gone now. Well, at least the full stream. I actually still have the the uh, Sonic part up on my one of my second channels. Um, I have it. I'll put it in the link description, I guess, if you want to check that out. And in the little eye corner, the little eye bubble up there in the corner, I guess. Just so it's there in case you wanted to see what that first session was like. I never edit that did not turn into the first episode. That was a separate session. I re-recorded it basically at some point because I had forgotten everything that happened. <laughs> and I know that in general it was when I first started the channel I never wanted to do a ton of series that I didn't finish because I don't like that much. And now it's kind of bothering me because I know I have a list somewhere of like games that I've started and played in a YouTube series. I have the have them all written down. So if I if I've played it, it's in the list. So finished games: Psychonauts, Psychonauts 2, Luigi's Mansion 3, I the Somnium Files, Watch Dogs 2. One that's in there is kind of sketchy. Um, Watch Dogs Legion. I feel like it's technically done, but or I feel like it's done because I got the credits, but there is still some post credit stuff for Watch Dogs Legion. And like, technically, it's still part of the story, which I don't like that they did that, actually, because I thought I was done with it. I thought that last episode I posted on it was the end of that game until like I'd finished it and then gotten that little post credit scene. I'm like, oh, OK, it's going to be like one mission. No, it turns out it's actually a, it's supposed to be a few missions. So I might just do what I did with some of the other games or that I'm doing with some of the other games where I'll just like record that at some point, do a very quick edit and post that in the playlist just for the people that like want that because I don't think it's worth having a full live stream for that necessarily, you know? Is this the Dirt Finder General? I got your details from a certain Harper Shaw, as there is alleged dirt problem at the local playground. Ah, oh, not the playground. Okay. Saw my dream RV at the auctions, all creamy like a toffee pie on wheels. Ew. Um. And with Watch Dogs 2, that was actually my first finished Let's Play. There's still some DLC. I never, I don't, wouldn't know whether to drive it or lick it. That's disgusting, dude. Um, I never finished the DLC stuff for it, so that's been in the back of my mind. Unfortunately, it sold for a crazy amount. The dream was on. Shut up. I'm done reading your text. So, that's another one that I'm just going to do a quick recording session, edit it, post it, like I did with the second half of the Shanghai mission. There's just a lot of stuff that I need to do. Um, so, oh yeah, Sonic Forces, I finished. Mafia, I finished. Crash Bandicoot 4 and Voodoo Vince. Voodoo Vince, though, will never see the light of day. Just because I don't like th what ended up happening with those videos. I had some sound issues with the first few, like, session, and I didn't notice, and I still decided to post it anyway, so that sucked. But certain games I've put into what I call the graveyard which are Cyberpunk 2077, which, by the way, just so I guess it's clear, the graveyard in my terminology is things that I don't currently intend on continuing, but aren't fully gone. 
my system accounts for necromancy. <laughs> so, specifically, the graveyard is just six games. Cyberpunk 2077, Prey, the remake, not, uh, not remake, reboot. Skyrim, Wolfenstein the New Order, The Medium, and YouTuber's Life. Again, those are all games that could theoretically come back, but I'm not planning on it at the moment. Skyrim actually might come back as single videos and not as a Let's Play, so it still technically belongs in the graveyard as a series, because I just I'm not interested in it as a Let's play it anymore, pretty much. But there are a few games that I put... There's still so much left. Okay. I get this bowl? Yeah. The games that I have decided aren't revivable, I have put into their own little niche. As the incinerator. Meaning necromancy cannot happen. Ah! There we go. Um, but that counts Battle Block Theater, Borderlands 2, Dark Souls, the first one, Fallout 3, and Mass Effect. Those are games that I do not feel like I will ever bring back. So, those ones are dead. Even though, like, a few of those never even literally got posted. So, yeah. It's kind of a bummer with those, but, you know, it's what I gotta do, right? But I want to get into, like, finishing up a bunch of the other games. So that includes, like, Saints Row the Third, Dying Light 2, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Um, that, those are all games that I've listed as life support. I have them all based off of, like, health terms, so I can, like, conceptualize it. So there's critical condition, meaning focus on these first. Stable, secondary priorities. Life support, meaning there's not much we can do at the moment, but we're trying to keep them alive to maybe hopefully get them out of here at some point. Then it's the graveyard, the incinerator, and in transit for games that are on the way. But, um, so Saints Row, Dying Light 2, and Assassin's Creed Valhalla are life support. Stable are Assassin's, not Assassin's Creed, AI, or I, the Somnium Files, Nirvana Initiative, because I want to do that game still. Master Detectives Archives Rain Code, because it's in the same kind of genre as I. The Sims 4, I might end up moving. Because I want to play that. I have ideas for it still. That I want to do in-game. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. And, uh... The last one on there, I'm also not sure about. Persona 3 Reload. So I guess if you want to see those games, let me know. Because that would be a stream game. Not like a video, that'd be a live stream. And then critical condition games at the moment on my list are Sonic Adventure DX, because it's all recorded. I have every ending recorded right now. It's done. I just need to edit it and post it. Minecraft is probably life support. No, actually no, because I have other ideas. Never mind, forget that. Yeah, Minecraft I'm working on as well. I'm going to be making some custom mods for it that I want to make, because I think they'd be fun for videos. So look forward to those, because those are going to be fun. Hitman and Lethal Company. Lethal Company I also have a bunch of videos for still, that I plan on doing. That I, like, I have recorded, I just need to finish editing them. Those are the main ones at the top of my list, actually. So I should have mentioned those first. <laughs> So, that, those are legitimately every game that I've done. I don't like forgetting about games, keeping them, like, off the list. So I like finishing stuff. The graveyard and the incinerator are mostly there to try to teach myself that it's okay to not finish everything. But there are, I still like to finish stuff. 
but I'm not gonna like scold myself for not finishing them because it's just not reasonable I've only got so much time in this world you know so much time available to me and if I think like that I'll probably end up posting a lot more often maybe not be like finishing series as much which is kind of sad but they'd result in better videos because I want to do stuff that I'm passionate about not stuff that I feel like I'm owing people I haven't fully decided how everything's gonna work out in terms of YouTube shorts let's plays are probably just gonna be live streams as I've said I want to start streaming more now that I have my internet fixed because I, I was having really bad internet issues for a very long time and now that those are fixed I can actually start to get to work on live streaming again I should have live streamed this but I'm still kind of scared of the internet to be honest not like the internet is in like the concept but like my internet quality you know I feel like I needed this just this talking because it I get it stuck in my head at times and I like doing these things I like doing update videos live playing the game I'm not a big fan of the idea of like recording a just in a sound file and then putting it over gameplay because it feels fake to me but with that i am going to wrap this clip i might cut to a next clip though so see you it is the next morning so we're almost done with this mission so i wanted to just get this done with um so follow up on what i was saying yesterday a little bit on the health or not the health um the sleep and like the sleep schedule and everything um I think one thing I've discovered about myself is I need about seven and a half hours of sleep because that I think is like three or four REM cycles. Um, because the one thing to know that a lot of people tend to don't know because they're like, oh, you need eight hours of sleep. It's like you need an average of around eight hours of sleep, but it really depends on you. It, it's it's a per person thing and the reality is seven to nine hours from what I've seen as an actual range for adults the older you get the less sleep you actually need it seems so the younger you are the more sleep so yeah though you should theoretically need a little bit less sleep as you age just based off of the averages so since it's seven to nine hours, I've noticed for me, if I get over seven and a half, because seven and a half is the REM cycle. I base it on REM cycles when I can, because there are a lot of downsides to waking up mid REM cycle. And for me, that causes headaches really bad. So I choose, I try not to wake up mid REM cycle when I can avoid it. Um, that's why I also believe that you shouldn't, if you wake up before your alarm, if it's like over an hour and a half away that you have to wake up, go ahead, go back to bed. But if you wake up like 20 minutes before your alarm and you're like, I could be awake, ah, actually I'm going to get some more sleep. So I'm well rested. You'll feel, you'll feel a lot more tired by being more well rested most of the time because you'll wake up mid REM cycle. And a lot of people don't seem to know that. I'm not a medical expert, so don't fully quote me on that, but that is, from what I understand, a big thing a lot of people don't don't know. So yeah, I'm trying to get my sleep more under control so I can do more stuff. Because I do want to make a lot more videos, I'm sick and tired of being so far behind. Okay, thanks. I'm, I'm not going to read those texts anymore. Um. But I wanted to cover the last of my update topics because I did have some topics planned out for this that I had forgotten about. Um, I know I kind of touched on it before, but live streams and let's plays. Sorry, I realized I didn't finish the bird house. Live streams and let's plays are in a weird spot for me at the moment, or have been in a weird spot, but I have. I think I'm, I've made a decision. Let's Plays, I believe, are a kind of a dead or dying genre. 
it's not the same as it was. So if you want to do Let's Plays, and you just want to do like old styled recording, cutting it into chunks and posting it, you can do that, but you're probably not going to get any views. So if you want to grow, just know that that genre isn't exactly for growing in anymore with the way that it was. Because I, I fully believe that the traditional Let's Play, which is how I word it, I always say traditional Let's Play, because they still are around, they're just different. The traditional Let's Play is dead, and it's been replaced by live streams, because that is the quickest way to get the entire plot of a game out, is by live streaming it. So, if you want to do traditional Let's Plays and you can't live stream, then make do with what you can. But, in general, it's not like optimal anymore. It's not like the thing that really you'll grow in very much. There are ways to do it, but it requires doing a lot more work and editing because the other way is to make more concept style videos. Look at Call Me Kevin, RT Game, Small Ant, how a lot of the newer channels, for instance, have grown. Call Me, Ch Call Me Kevin's not really a newer channel at this point, so I can't really say that's how he grew, but it, to an extent, I think it does apply to his journey. Because he did a Let's Play channel way back, and you can still watch some of those videos. Some people have reposted a bunch of them. And they're slower paced, but he didn't start growing until like, he really got back into his new one. So I don't think that I will continue that style just because I don't believe in my limited amount of time that I have available to do stuff that a lot of the games I want to do let's plays of really would help me in grow in any way. So if there's games that I want to play that I don't think I can make a good concept video or even a video that I don't really want to like necessarily grow off of, I'll probably just stream it. So that way it's a one and done situation. I, I, I stream, I play it, it's over. No video. So a lot of the streams won't be made into videos. Specifically, like if I were to say, um, multi-stream. If I multi-stream, those will be my Let's Plays, basically, going forward. If I only stream something on Twitch, it's a good chance it might end up being a video in the future. So that is my current plan for how I do this stuff. But again, if, if I stream it on Twitch, that is not a guarantee that it will be a video. It's just um, the most likely place that if I were to stream, so that way it's kind of like a double whammy, you know, being active on Twitch and making a video just to like be productive as possible. Some things, if I think it might need to be edited way more, or if I want to keep something secret, then I will probably just keep that private. Like, record them privately. Like, this one was on privately solely because I need to warm up a bit, you know? I'm a little bit out of it at the moment. Out of practice, at least. So that's the main reason why this one was recorded privately. Going forward, most of these updates will be part of live streams. And a lot of these topics I might talk again about in the future, so if you have any questions, you can just wait to the next time I do one of these. So, yeah, um, other things. Le live streams, let's plays, shorts, that's the next thing on the list shorts and why I stopped them. Um, most of my channel's growth in the past came from shorts that I have posted. So it seems kind of weird that I haven't gotten back to posting them yet, right? I do want to make shorts again. 
but they're not going to be like they did. I did them before because I'm just smarter now, <laughs> and the way I was doing them in the past wasn't a good way of doing them because I was posting highlights as shorts, and that's not like the best usage of them. That's not a good use because I realized after the fact that the shorts, the highlights mean nothing really to anybody but me. Because they're funny, but like, what's the point in sticking around for a short from a channel you don't know? Or a highlight from a channel you don't know? Unless it's like, really eye-catching, like, memorable type stuff. Then that makes sense. But the ones that I was doing weren't that. Those were just quick, I want to get something out type videos. And that's where I was wrong. I was making lazy content. And that's not a good thing because now I know a short even a highlight needs to tell a story and because storytelling is huge and a lot of people seem to misunderstand that storytelling is not like a complicated thing it's just making sure that it is entirely encapsulated in a way anything can be a story like a short it seems, oh, how am I going to make a short into a story? That's a lot of work. It's not really a... Anything... is a story. Like, it's easier to tell long stories. But they're not going to be good long stories. Just like, it's hard to tell a good short story, because it's hard to write a short story that's... as well. Easier in time, but a little bit more difficult when it comes to ability of trying to make it stay short because you want to fill too much information in Sorry, I have a bottle on my mouse pad So one example is like A bunch of those like fairy tales and children's stories are short stories But we tend to equate stories with bigger things like novels, books, and movies, but anything is a story. I went to the mall earlier, for, and here's an example. I went to the mall earlier and I saw a broken window. It's, I didn't, this isn't a real story, it's just a made up quick example. That is a story. It's not a, a memorable one, but there is a way to do it, so if I were to make a short, it would have to tell a story of some kind. More of a story than the ones I was doing were telling. They just weren't good, because they weren't stories, so like, my, um... Dying Light short, where I'm like, nobody told me there'd be dead people in this game. It's all, it was alright, I don't even know if that one's public, but... It was, it's a funny, I like the joke, it was funny in the moment, but... I realized after the fact, it's only funny to me because I knew the context. Beyond just the little tiny bit of context I gave in that short, which was just showing one of the zombies or whatever. So it's just not the best. There's other issues that I had with a lot of these shorts, just um, some of them were too dark. Hard to really tell what was going on. And accessibility is very important for videos in a way because if you don't make it accessible, even the people who don't depend on hyper accessible stuff would leave because it's inconvenient to watch. And as tempting as a creator as it is to think that people will just look past my flaws because I'm a small channel, I know as a viewer myself, I am not likely to watch a video if I am annoyed by almost any aspect of it, which even feels bad to me knowing that I do that, because it feels like the type of thing that I should be entirely there for other small channels, because it seems kind of selfish, but at, at the same time, I'm picky with what I watch. And I don't tend to click a lot of small videos unless I'm, like, really interested in the topic. 
and YouTube recently has been recommending me a lot more small channels that I can see obvious clear issues with thumbnails, with titles, and I'm like, ah, uh, that's not how you do it. You're focusing on the wrong aspect here. Sometimes you'll see a f small channel with like a viral video, or semi-viral, like to an extent, right? Where it's like, most of their channel has like 100 views, but that one has like 10,000. And so they try to like double down on whatever they think succeeded, like why that one got 10,000. So I saw one channel that took it as, oh, well my face, that was one of the first videos that had my face on it. So clearly if I put my face in every thumbnail, that will help me grow. But that's not often the case because in terms of like the first thing you notice, because while you may be aware that you changed that, most viewers aren't. So the concept is what most viewers pay actual attention to. Or let's say if you're playing games and you put your face, you play a new game and you put your, you're like, I'm going to put my face in the thumbnail because that's something I want to do because I heard that works and it works. And then you discount the game. You're not paying attention to that. You played a new game and you had like a semi interesting idea because they're like, well, you were focusing on your face on what you what you were changing about it not about what the, the situation around it was so I see a lot of small channels misunderstanding stuff like that so I do like giving small channels a chance but there's a lot of situations where I'll see that like they just don't understand that the story is what matters and your thumbnail to an extent is part of the story the first the little clip at the beginning of your video that you see when the viewer hovers over your video is part of the story your title is part of the story you can use those things to introduce certain elements you've made them interested and so if the thumbnail and title start to tell a story and the first 15 20 seconds of your video don't continue that story then they will probably leave it has to be related you can't just have like your thumbnail go unreferenced in the beginning of your video that's the whole reason they clicked it was the thumbnail and title and the concept that they promised So I'm trying to get better at that. I know with some of my videos that it's not fully evident by looking at them. So that's why I'm changing a bunch of thumbnails, like I said earlier. Um, like my Dying Light video. The thumbnail doesn't really say much. I reference that one a lot because it feels to me like I even when I posted that thumbnail I'm like I don't know how to feel about this thumbnail but it needs a thumbnail but now I'm like there could have been something better no I'm not doing that my mom already so yeah I'll probably go more in depth into a lot of the storytelling stuff in a future live stream because I'm kind of running out of time in this but there's a lot of stuff I want to do to fix past mistakes without dwelling on them. I republished a lot of my old stuff again, just so that they're back up and like... I don't know, for a while I thought that they were like hindering me because I didn't like the idea of new viewers coming and finding me through my old stuff. Because that felt... I didn't like that much because I'm not proud of a lot of my old stuff because I knew there was a lot of stuff I could have done different. I should have done different. Okay, uh, I think it's just the lawnmower now. So, that's about all I wanted to really say was... Old stuff came back, most of it at least. I, I'm not sure if there's anything I left... Oh, besides Voodoo Vince. That one's still private. But... Yeah, I'm, I'm back... I'm trying to be back at least, <laughs> despite all my constant health issues.
which was the last note that I had written down. Basically, my giant gap in 2022 was caused by my back. I threw out, I pretty much threw up my back. Where is it? Lawnmower engine has some stuff on it. Where I didn't do it by doing anything hard. I mean, I was doing yard work before this, but I had been asleep. I was sleeping and at 3 a.m. I woke up and I couldn't sit up anymore. It was just pain. Okay, the lawnmower's done. What am I missing? Swing sofa cushions. That was weird. So... What's this one? There we go. Yeah, I woke up with... At 3 a.m. unable to get up. I could move my feet so I knew that my spine was fine, but I my back was in so much pain. And it was awful. And it didn't heal for like two full months. I slept in my chair because I knew I could get up out of my chair. I had to get help to get out of bed because I couldn't move. And now I've changed jobs since then, so it's no longer as big of a deal. Ooh, next time we do play, we can do one of these three missions. Um, I'll probably do the dirt bike next. But yeah, that was the last thing I wanted to talk about was just I've had a lot of physical issues, so that's led to some of the issues in focus. When do we unlock that? 15, so next level we could theoretically get the new one. So I am going to see you all next time. If there's any points in this rant that you want to hear more details on, let me know in the comments and I can go in detail on those.